I see massive, massive show of support right from day one till now. It's going to leave you some nostalgic feelings, I'm sure. And we're not done. We still have today. We have six constituencies to go. Mm. And so um, we just want to round it off. But this is just phase one. We'll come back for phase two. A massive and huge statement you made at Amustech that is, you are going to continue all projects yes. left behind when you win yes. 2025. Yes. Somebody will ask, with this fiscal space, why are you going to get the money? Actually, that's a reasonable thing to do. What I said was that we'll not be in a hurry to start new projects. And rather what we should do is to harness the little resources we have to complete ongoing and abandoned projects. Because the fiscal space we'll inherit in 2025 is going to be very small. This despair, I mean, we're looking at the current economic situation. Your Excellency, are you the hope for Ghanaians? Well, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm the hope. It's like a messiah. I don't have those spiritual con connotations. But Ghana has given me much. It's given me a lot of experience. I've worked in various levels of leadership. And I think that at this time of crisis, the experience that I've garnered, I should put at the service of my nation. And so we're going to go for elections, and the people of Ghana will decide. But I do think that Ghana is a country that of our birth, we have no other country, and all of us must come together and work to put it back on its feet. Unfortunately, this government has been very exclusive, you know, not wanting to bring in expertise from others. When we come, it's going to be different. We're going to be involve everybody in the governance of this country. The CSOs, we're going to take ideas from everybody in order to put our country back on its feet. All right. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.